Hey guys, good morning, welcome back to another Oh my god, my eye. 10 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. My neighbours have a really nice back garden and a really nice conservatory. Like they have like the bifold doors in their kitchen. Anyway, I'm so nosy. Hey guys, what's up? It's just Yara. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. For today's vlog, as promised, I said I'm going to be doing a part two of my previous vlog. This vlog is literally just going to be a day in the life. Um, what I get up to when Amara's not with me. So Koi is here. He's gonna have a little father daughter day with Amara. Mummy is going to meet with Chelsea. Chelsea's one of my closest, bestest friends. I've known her since school. We've been best friends since school. Oh, I say that and they're opening up their bifold doors. Oh my god, wait. I can't tell if they're staring at me or oh my god. Oh my god, wait. Oh my god, I actually can't look over there because I think they're literally staring from a window. So the plan for today is we are going to go to Soho, Oxford Circus, that type of area, and literally just chill like for the whole day. Um I'm gonna shoot some content and then me and Chelsea are just gonna go to a cafe for lunch maybe a restaurant we'll see where the day takes us but it's just gonna be a chill day like not gonna get out too much um just have a day out in central london that's the plan i'm about to get ready actually um i've got two outfits to shoot today so we'll see how that goes one of them is really out there and the other is just everyday me so we'll see how that goes but yeah i'll catch up with you guys when i catch up with you it will either be when i'm getting ready or when i'm out or whatever but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Uh, let me know if you like random vlogs like this where I just go out and explore, but yeah, my neighbors are literally staring at me. Hey guys, I just want to show you the living room. It's an absolute mess. I just want to show you guys my hair. I just want to show you guys my hair. I curled it with a straightener. I don't tend to do it. Um, that's the hair done. Lace is not really looking cute today, but no one needs to know. Um, and yeah, the fit today is really a lot, but I'm heading out now. I'm so excited that you guys. It's such a nice day as well. hey guys so it's 9 42 in the morning um i feel rough excuse my hair i feel really rough <laughs> amara last night just oh my god you guys heard this child screaming it was one o'clock in the morning you guys should have heard how this child was crying you would have thought that someone was hurting her and she's teething that's why she was screaming. She was crying and crying and crying and crying and I found no way to stop it. My last resource was to come into here in the living room and put this video on, put this video on and let her watch it. Um, and she went to bed straight after. I've got a couple things going on um, and you guys saw, I mean, this entire vlog is gonna be really short. I feel like, what? That's mummy's drink. I've changed the living room around. Well, me and Corey yesterday, impulsive decision to say the least um i just got bored of my space hence why i'm moving soon but i just got bored of the space i got bored of the living room i was just like you know what just let's just flip it completely um see if it makes a difference and i kind of prefer it this way so the sofa is against the windows we basically just flipped everything so the sofa used to be there tv was here also guys i forgot to say on here i do have a website now I have been a blogger before. I've had a blog in the past. She's bringing a book to me. I've had a blog in the past. Mm. Hi, baby. Thank you. 
Um, I used to be a blogger and I thought it would just be a good idea to start blogging again and have a website, etc, etc. She's ready to read a book. Okay, I'm coming. Um, but yeah, I've got a website. It'll be linked down below. It's literally just to Ciara at Marriott.com. So check that out if you're interested in shopping my outfits. Blog posts are coming soon, but that's all. Yeah, we're going to read a book now because she brought this to me. You ready? <laughs> Look at the wires. <laughs> Why are the wires? <laughs> Like it's just all i can't wait to have an office and just be able to film and record my podcast as i choose turn it this way i always sit so close to my microphone and i don't need to be that close like i really do not need to be that close to it um any cue i don't have any notes for this podcast either you guys um let me just record and i'll talk to you guys after i'm drinking tea for the first time in weeks. I'm not a tea drinker, but I told myself on my healthy eating journey now, um, I'm not gonna be drinking coffee past six o'clock. Um, so hard. Anyway, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Form the Podcast. I'm your host, Jasiara Marriott. I hope you guys have had an amazing week. I hope you guys are having a great Thursday or whenever you're listening to this episode. <laughs> Why, 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 why do I look like this? It's not even, it's genuinely not even funny anymore. It's not even funny. I don't understand how people come on looking the 10 out of 10. I, 2022, we're in March now, so I don't know why I'm saying 2022, like it's January. Um, I need to stop apologizing for what I look like. Women need to stop apologizing for what they look like in general. Like I, I saw a compilation on TikTok actually the other day. Um, of women literally just saying oh my god sorry about my hair oh my god sorry about my spot oh my god sorry about this need to stop doing it anyway hey guys i was gonna make this vlog a one day vlog for when i went to octa circus with chelsea but this vlog was literally gonna be three minutes long i'm not even joking three minutes and i said that's ridiculous just see let me not do that um i need to come back and start filming more sit down videos i have not filmed a sit down video since the one i filmed with corey i need to film more sit down videos i just have no idea what to talk about because the topics that i would like to speak about on youtube i speak about on my podcast so if you are interested in like self-care lifestyle businesswoman money management type content check out form but i just wanted to come on and just have a little life update of what is going on in my life at the minute nothing too crazy nothing too exciting by the way i ripped my nail off i can't even tell because my nail is literally the same length i mentioned in my last vlog that i'm on a fitness journey health journey um and i'm only mentioning it because i feel like i don't know i just kind of want to share it. i don't i'm not going to give ins and outs of what i'm doing until i'm at said goal i started wearing a waist trainer i'm not wearing it now because i'm literally drinking a cup of coffee did i not just say in the previous clip when i was recording the podcast that i'm not drinking coffee past six it's eight o'clock right now if it helps it's an instant coffee it's not a proper coffee anyway yeah so i started wearing a waist trainer i've started eating healthier i don't really know what i'm doing in terms of my food i'm on a calorie deficit i guess that's the easiest way to say it i'm not like doing a keto diet or plant-based diet or anything even though i would do a plant-based diet because i did a plant-based diet when i was in college for six months found my older sister's weights like two weights so i brought them back to mine and i'm using that to work out now um i haven't worked out as of yet mostly because i don't want to i hate working out i hate working out it's just not a thing i enjoy I used to enjoy it when I was in university, but don't love it now, it's not for me. But I have a website now, I have a blog, I guess. And you guys know I said I wanted to get into the fashion industry a bit more, do more things, and an avid fashion girl um, regarding the places that I shop and how I actually place myself in the industry, if that makes sense. JustCiaraMarriott.com, that is me. And on my website, I have different things. It's mostly a portfolio for brands that wanna work with me. You guys 
to it's basically it's like a one-stop shop for me basically like if you want to get to know me you can go on my website and see some past products that i've done um you can see you can see my youtube channel you can see my blog you can see my podcast like there's everything on there that regards me also the blog is basically going to be my safe haven where i report on trends where i talk about all things to do with fashion um talk about new brands that i've discovered anything to do with fashion it's going to be on there basically so if you are interested in that stay tuned for that it's coming in march it is march already but it's coming like later towards the end of march i will be producing more content hopefully i'll get some writers that can feature but the blog is called influence the reason behind that i did say i would explain it on my instagram but influence the blog is basically because i kind of wanted to have a play on words in terms of the word influencer um i as you guys know if you know me i don't like to call myself an influencer just because of the connotation that the word has the association that the word has and with the current climate and with what's going on in the world right now an influencer is the last thing people will think of also the first thing people will think of because i feel like people think influencers are meant to report on news are meant to report on current events we're not it's good to acknowledge it and it's good to share charities and things that we can do to help out things that our followers can do to help out but it's not our job to report on the news the news's job is to report on the news and when influencers do comment on current events they get cancelled because they say the wrong thing i don't comment on political situations but the situation that's going on in the world obviously i have to comment on it because it's mad and I need to share ways that my followers can help. I need to reach a larger, larger audience. So influence, I just wanted to call it that because I'm more than an influencer. I feel like that's what I'm seen as now. And I'm also seen as just a mum. And I wanted that. I wanted my blog just to be a place where I can show that I'm more than an influencer. Influencing you guys by reading my blog, by getting some style tips by discovering new brands and all the above so that's why i called it influence basically long story short i feel like i'm just chatting but yeah i feel like that's everything that i have to update you guys on i feel like that is everything i have to update you guys on i can't think of anything else yeah this week is more of an admin week in terms of me just planning my website and planning content and i am going to be shooting content at home as i have moved my living room around i now have like that space this wall the one where my sofa used to be i will record tomorrow so i'll be back with you guys tomorrow yeah so i'll either do a workout in the morning or in the afternoon because amara now takes one nap a day can you imagine how i'm feeling right now so she now takes one nap a day so i might just take it in the, the couple of hours that she's asleep show you guys my new little routine that i've got going on and yeah that's everything now i'm watching a couple of vlogs i'm just catching up in people's vlogs people who's actually doing things with their life unlike me that's sat drinking a cup of coffee at eight o'clock on a random tuesday bye see you guys tomorrow morning wow morning guys so it's um wednesday wednesday i think uh, tuesday oh my gosh i don't know um so tired this morning i'm so tired this morning um i slept and amara slept through the night well she woke up once but i still feel tired i feel like i'm not sleeping properly stomach progress guys i wear my waist trainer to bed i know that's a bit controversial because the videos i was watching some people said not to some people said to do it i just wanted to give it a go so i did sleep in my waist trainer yesterday like yesterday night um woke up the next morning and i was so shocked at how flat my stomach was like it just sucked everything in and i've lost like three kilograms four kilograms in the last two or three days which i've never lost weight that quick it's not because i'm not eating i'm eating food i'm eating so much healthier than i usually do on top of that i'm i'll explain it in another video because i feel like i can't really articulate what i'm doing to lose by the way i'm not losing weight i'm just losing this um and i know some people may be like you don't have anything i'm not listening to those people so yeah it is eight o'clock now something like that we woke up at seven well i woke up at seven because i heard amara making noise she wasn't even crying guys she doesn't really cry in the morning she'll just scream talk to herself very loudly the weather has reverted back to what it was which i'm kind of sad about because i really thought it was going into spring it's like gross guys muddy and rainy outside 
not here for it so i am not going outside sorting out my blog influence Woo! i'm really excited about that i'm really really excited to start a blog um and i might actually open applications for writers um because i know there's a lot of university students and just people who like fashion and interior and lifestyle so i think it'll be really cool if i opened up to my followers and let you guys submit like articles i think that'd be really cool let me know if that's something you'll be interested in anyway i'm about to make a coffee i usually drink my apple cider vinegar drink in the morning first thing but the thing with that is it makes me feel a bit i mean it fills you up it does but i kind of just want a coffee this morning i will drink my apple cider vinegar later on i'll drink it tonight and i will be working out my boiler i'll be doing a workout when amara goes to take a nap i'll catch up with you guys later i'm about to make a coffee hey guys so it's now 11 o'clock um i'm pretty positive it is 11 o'clock wearing my waist trainer um this is what it looks like it's like the most easy waist trainer i've ever had um i did do waist training back in uni and my waist was tiny, so I don't know why I was waist training in the first place. But um, I'll link it down below, it's on my Amazon store. I'm gonna wear it whilst working out and I need to do more research on this, so I'm not recommending it to anyone. I'm not recommending it to anyone um, wear a waist trainer and work out because I don't know if the health risks with it, but I'm gonna try it, see if it works for me, see if it, you know, has any benefits or whatever, but I'm about to work out for the first time in ages. I've got weights here. They are 4.5 kg. Approximately, that's how, this is how much weight I lost in the last couple of days. They're not that bad. They're honestly not that bad. I used to lift heavier than this. Um, so I've got two 4.5 kg weights. I'm wearing a waist trainer. I'm gonna do, I've got a Chloe Ting workout that I wanna try and then I've got another one that I wanna try. Um, I'll do it and see how I feel. Might take my waist trainer off halfway through if my abs are burning, but yeah, that's what's going on now. I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm looking forward to it. I need to start changing how I speak about working out. <laughs> Of course I do that.